Yo, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon and The Blackest Heart, both books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Ghost Road Blues by Jonathan Mayberry. Now this is a horror novel. It is book number one in his Pine Deep trilogy, which consists of Dead Man's Song and Bad Moon Rising. I think there's a fourth book called Ink that we that I don't have that, but um, anyway. If I remember correctly, the book Ink was also set in this universe, although it might not be tied to this trilogy. Anyway, that doesn't matter. We're talking about this one. It came out in 2006, if I am correct. I think it's Jonathan Mabry's first published novel. Um, he since went on to write the uh, big, huge Joe Ledger zombie hunter series. Um, uh, but anyway, let's talk about the cover first. You know, we always talk about graphic design and cover illustration because I, I really like those things. I think this does a good job of giving us a ghost road blues. I think we can get the feeling that it could be a horror horror novel set in a small town. You know, the other covers are equally sort of, you know, adequate. Um, nothing about this cover blows me away, but I, it, it does its job. I think it's colorful and it gets us there. You know, I will tell you that uh, Jonathan Mabry did sign all of my uh, books. Uh, well, the three that I have here. Um... I've met Jonathan. Uh, we sir, actually, me and and I probably ought to post this on my channel someday. I've got a video of me and Jonathan Mayberry, and Larry Correa, and Brian McClelland at a Comic Con doing a panel on how to write great action scenes. I, that one is in the. I should post that one of these days. But I have met Jonathan on many occasions. Sat next to him and signed books next to him at the Bard's Tower on the Comic Con showroom floor. So I know Jonathan pretty well. Um, I could. I would consider him a friend. Anyway, let's talk about this horror novel. It's a great, great, great horror novel and a great trilogy. This is about the town of Pine Deep, and I believe it's Pennsylvania. Uh, it's got a dark, dark, grim history, much like Derry, Maine, or Castle Rock, Maine. It's sort of got that flavor, where there's just a community of people, a community of quirky people, that all live here, uh, that know about the town's dark past. In fact, they know about the town's dark past to such an extent that they go out of their way on Halloween to actually put together, like, uh, corn mazes and haunted houses and haunted tractor rides where they just play up this haunted village persona that their town has, and people come from miles away to go through all these haunted things. And the people dial up, the people of the village dial up the creepiness level of this stuff really a lot. I mean, they make it look really realistic and freak people right the out. And it is great. And we open up with one of those scenes where some people are just on a hayride, one of the horror hayrides, <laughs> and it goes horribly wrong. And people are just freaked. They think that their friends are being murdered. They think they're watching people get hacked to pieces. But it's all an act. And as, as the reader, you're reading it wondering, is this an act or not? But then it's kind of like, so you're horrified thinking you're watching the beginning of the book. But then you realize it's, no, it's just the town that puts on this big sort of charade. Uh, but that gets us started. And then we start to meet our characters like Malcolm Crow and his buddy Coop and his Malcolm's girlfriend Val Guthrie. Uh, and then we get to meet a little kid named uh, Mike uh, and the tow truck uh, Eddie, tow, Eddie the tow truck guy. Um, tow truck Eddie, that's his name. Not Eddie the tow truck guy. <laughs> tow truck Eddie. There's a lot of great characters wandering through this book that we get to know right from the get go. Very reminiscent of, you know, Stephen King's early works and Peter Straub's early works. In fact, there's a cat named Coco, and I'm thinking that's kind of a shout out to Peter Straub. Well, we, we, I don't know for sure. 
Anyway, we get to know all these little delightful kind of characters as they live in this uh, haunted town. And, uh, and then things start to really get haunted. It was very reminiscent of, like I said, books like It and uh, things like that. Uh, cause, because then we get these three bad guys that sort of wander into town, one worse than the next. You know, uh, Ruger, one is named Ruger, and then I think it's Boyd and Tony. Uh, but just these guys wander into town, and I won't get into the details of what happens, uh, because that's the fun of reading this, is just discovering how these basically sort of innocent townsfolk deal with a, 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 a bunch of serial killers that have sort of wa walked into their town. I will read the back of it so you can get a better sense of what this is about than what I, the way I described it. Um, so, this is the apocalyptic showdown between the residents of a secluded rural, rural town and a deadly, inescapable evil, because evil doesn't die. And that's right. I mean, there's flashbacks to 1976, um, where there's this guy named the Bone Man who who uh, was the original dude that started the history of horror in this town of Pine Deep. Anyway, evil doesn't die. Pine Deep buried the horrors of its past a long time ago. Thirty years have passed since a serial killer sheared a bloody swath through the quiet Pennsylvania village. Now residents and tourists enjoy the country's largest Halloween celebration in what is cheerfully called the spookiest town in America. Yeah, they go all out for the celebration. It just grows stronger, but a month before Halloween it begins again. Unspeakably desecrated bodies, un inexplicable insanity, and an ancient evil walking the streets, seeking to shred the very soul of this vulnerable community. Yes. The people of Pine Deep have faced a serial killer before, but this time evil has many faces. And the lust and will to rule. The struggle will be epic. Eh, that was better than what I... It's a great, 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 great horror novel. One of the classics. The Pine Deep trilogy here is going to go down as one of the classics in the genre. And Ghost Road Blues is a great, great starting point for the trilogy, and we will be reading the um, follow-ups here soon and reviewing them. So I'm giving 9.5 out of 10 stars to Ghost Road Blues.